Good afternoon, folks. This is Kimberly Jessica reporting in live today from Hollywood, California. And I am pretty excited because I have an amazing human being on the line with us today. And, yes, I say human being. You know, people tend to um, separate the beautiful things that they're doing from themselves. And, and this guy, is he's created a movement. He's created a movie that is a movement to change everything. And that in and of itself is a mouthful. It's, the name of the movie is Excellus, and we have on the line with us Jay's Bordeaux, and he is uh, he is one of the people that is, is a part of the movie, and he's going to tell us all about his role in the movie, what the movie's about, and how we can watch it. Jay's, are you there today? Yes, I am, Kimberly. Uh, thanks for having me uh, today. Uh, I should just kind of uh, correct one thing. The movie is Excelsius, and I am okay. the director and also producer on the film. Well, guys, you know, it's far be it for me to butcher someone's name. I, I hate it. He has all these amazing, exotic names going, so he's the best guy that can pronounce his name professionally and correctly, so I do apologize. Oh, no worries at all. Um, thanks for having me. Like I said, we're quite excited about the film because predominantly it is a female MMA-based film. And, and that's exciting. That is so huge. We've never had a female MMA film before. That, that's like, that's a piece right now. Especially well, with Rhonda. Well, exactly, because that's the thing. In the drama sport movie genre, it hasn't actually been done before. So wow. this potentially is the first of its kind, right? Uh, and it's not even just um, MMA-based. It's basically, if you look at that entire genre, uh, there's not a lot of um, films where you'll find women in these non-traditional roles. There's a few, like Million Dollar Baby, but not a lot. So it's mm -hmm. it's something we're excited about because it's different and it's new. And just even in the early stages right now of where we're at, um, there's been you know, a pretty good uh, a movement behind it, a lot of excitement for it, especially with the rise of women in MMA, as you mentioned with Ronda Rousey and a lot of the women in UFC and the great things they're doing right now. They're just taking things to a whole uh, another level. So it's kind of like right time, right place, right everything in terms of what we're doing with the production right now. That's amazing. So tell us about the actors. Because, you know, when I think about MMA, you know, I think about Van Damme. You know, I'm like old school, right? You have Amber, Van Damme and Bloodsport. You always think about the guy. But like you said, with Ronda Rousey, and she just brought so much to the sport. I actually didn't pay attention to the MMA until Ronda Rousey and, you know, her challenging Floyd Mayweather, her getting into that spat <laughs> with, um, what's her name, Muhammad Ali's daughter, Layla Ali, who I've interviewed, by right. the way. Layla Ali said, look, there's not a woman on the planet that can beat me. So, Ronda, you know what I mean? So, this is, like, huge what you're doing. This is huge, Jay. Yeah, well, you know, the the lead cast in this, which is Carly Rose and Ava Blackwell, they're uh, two just absolutely fantastic women, just great personalities. In real life, they are actually very strong women in general, uh, so it definitely mirrors the role that they were playing. But they are like legitimate badasses because even uh, Carly Rose, she has – some combat training background in boxing, and mm. Ava as well has uh, 10 years of uh, MMA background in training as well. So they're not necessarily just uh, playing a role. I, I think they're, uh, they're, they're mirroring, yeah, a lot of their characteristics in real life. So they, they bring that as well into uh, the production. And it's actually, for me, it was really interesting once we had this idea to go in this direction to see how big that world was in terms of women and combat sports. It doesn't really get talked about a lot, uh, but the amount of women I've met over the past nine months that box <laughs> or just do uh, a lot of MMA training has been eye-opening, to say the least, right? Um, wow. Because I had never really quite caught it before, but now I've caught it. And it's just that I don't know if anybody's caught it in such a way to present it to 
the rest of the world, right? And we right, hope to do right. that with uh, this film here. So, Jay, let me ask you this. How can we... How, when is this movie coming out? Can you tell us that? And, and you've actually, you got a good deal. I mean, you're with Universal Pictures Group. That's pretty huge. Well, yeah, Universal Pictures Group. Well, the film won't be out for about another uh, year. So we're looking at 2018. So there's a lot of things that's going to be happening in 2017. Uh, there's some surprise additions that are happening to the cast uh, that I can't really talk about right now, but uh, those announcements are coming soon. So basically, uh, as we roll through next year, there's a lot of announcements that are going to be happening. So I can only tell people to just kind of stay tuned, plug into everything, the, our, our Facebook page or Twitter uh, we're everywhere, right? And there's a lot of people already following it, but there's a lot more interesting news coming up, um, a lot more exciting news. And so for the time being, we're just telling people just stay plugged in, plugged in. You're going to get all the updates, find out everything that's going on, even uh, leading yeah, up to Yeah, because I'd love to know what theaters this is going to be. And is it going to be limited distribution or is it going to be, you know, worldwide distribution? Was it going to be uh, movie theaters or is it going to be online? To, you know, what, what's the distribution? Oh, no, yeah. This, uh, as far as I know right now, since I'm not on that side, it is being set up for a theatrical distribution. Beautiful. Uh, and sometime in 2018, and then obviously all the other platforms thereafter in, in digital form. So that, that part, you know, it will be accessible to the masses out there for the most part. I think you're so. onto something huge. I think this is going to... You know, I can already hear it and feel it. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, you have your own version of Rocky, but it's, it's females and it's, it's badass females and it's MMA. You, you have all the, 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 the wrestlers like China and the, you know, the fabulous Moolah and Wendy Richter and, you know, I'm from the 80s, you know, WWF. So I was always the cheerleader <laughs> for women wrestlers and I'm like a big Wonder Woman fan, Supergirl storm, you know, rogue. So, you know, you've definitely got my attention because this this, well, this here is huge. Well, yeah, there's definitely something happening right now at this time. There is an, an overall yeah. movement, I think, with women in film. And I do hope, uh, like you said, there's a lot of upcoming features coming out. I don't even know if I can mention them, but we know there's one famous one with a superhero woman. And I is hope it does really, really well. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Are you kidding? We're talking here. Oh, yeah. You know what, Jay? You're going to laugh at me. If I ever sent you, I literally have two Wonder Woman dolls. I have, I have Wonder, I went and bought me some Wonder Woman dolls. Seriously. And mind really? you, I, I, I'm just a junkie. I, you know, I was a little girl. I loved Wonder Woman. You know what I mean? It's like Linda Carter was my Wonder Woman. Was and, that? and, she was my Wonder Woman, and so with you, it's like, okay, so how do I get involved in this here? Because this is amazing. I mean, when this came across my table, I said, oh, yeah, I want to interview him. Are you kidding me? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so I, and actually, yeah, it's great that you say that because I see the movement happening, and I just really hope a lot of those productions do well because I think it, it'll change a lot of things in general because I know when it comes to women leading films, sometimes there's, uh, a little bit of negative connotation that they can't draw like the guys do, but I don't believe that per se. No. For the most part, I think it's quite false. So it is quite exciting to see this change happening, this little rift happening. And I know there's a lot more stuff coming out where you have these strong centered uh, female leads. And I just hope that they all do well, actually, because the more they, the better they do, I know the better we'll do as well. So. We're definitely oh, God, uh, yeah. cheering, <laughs> cheering. For I am too, and like I said, you're with Universe Pictures Group. That's huge. You know, you're doing some amazing things, Jay's. I'm so proud of you. Not that you need my praise, but I'm just saying. You know, what I mean, <laughs> this is huge. You know, this is this is huge. What you're doing, I applaud you for bringing women, you know, to the forefront. That you know, we are badasses, and 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 you know, I used to take martial arts myself. So, um, you know, and I was really, you know, wanting to get into uh, sparring and um, competition. That's, I've always loved how you guys to play hockey as a kid. So I love what you're doing. My point in sharing all this with you is I love what you're doing. I hope that this movie takes rock the world by storm because that's, that's what it's about, rocking the world by storm with amazing things that you're doing, and you're doing some amazing things, and I just want to applaud you. 
thank you for your very, very, very kind words. Uh, they're very, very much appreciated. And like I said, uh, me and the most part, we're quite excited about this little movement as well, especially for me because I've been pretty much inspired my whole life by strong women that have mm. been around me. So, uh, you know, for me, I'm more than happy to kind of highlight that other aspect of the opposite sex that may sometimes be taken for granted, right? Mm. Wow. So, Jay, do you have anything else coming up that you want the world to know about? Because people need to recognize your name, too. There, you know, yes, yeah, we do have a lot of other things coming up. For the moment, though, I, I just keep telling people, keep your eyes on Excelsius. There's a lot of interesting things that are about to happen. And when you said literally take the world by storm, that's what I believe we're going to do. Oh, it's I know you're going to do plugged it. In. <laughs> stay plugged into everything, our Facebook page, our Instagram, our, our Twitter, because like I said, there we do have some announcements that I do think will shake and rattle everything. Literally. Wow. So just keep posted uh, because uh, big things are about to happen here. So. Well, thank you so much, Jay, for interviewing with us on I Have Radio today, from the Glam Reports radio show. And, again, we apologize for butchering your name. We, we got it right finally. And, guys, you got to follow Jay. you got to follow him on Twitter. Follow him on, in, you know, follow him on, on social media. Follow this movie because I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to make a prediction. I'll be willing to bet on it. This movie is going to blow wide open. And I just want to say kudos to you again, Jay, because you're doing big things. And I'm, I'm just so happy for you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for the your pleasure time. is all mine, Jay. Thank you so much for interviewing with us today, and we welcome you back, and we look forward to seeing more of you.